grandparents, relatives, friends, and everyone joining us today for this joyful celebration. We gather here as a community and family of faith and love. Your presence is a testament to the dedication you have shown in nurturing your child's spiritual journey. We are going to witness the sacred moment when our children take a significant step forward in their relationship with God. They are going to receive the body and blood of Jesus for the first time. It's a reminder of Christ's love for us, his sacrifice and his presence in our lives, a moment of communion, not only with God, but also with one another as we come together as a community of believers. Let's open our hearts to the grace and blessings that flow from the sacrament. May this day be a source of inspiration and renewal for all of us, strengthening our faith and deepening our commitment to live as disciples of Christ. We are happy to have our parish priest, Father Mutum, Father Dennis, Father Reggie, Father Joes, Father Deo, and Father Majid, also joining us, Father Vipin and Father Derek, who guided our children in their spiritual preparation. Once again, I extend my warmest welcome to each and every one of you. May God bless us abundantly as we celebrate this special day together. Thank you.
and my dear friends after due preparation our little ones are going to taste and cherish the love of God as we all gather here to pray for the children may they continue to grow in the love of Christ during this mass let us focus our attention to pray for this special intention to celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner, let's recall to our minds and hearts our failures and shortcomings and ask pardon of God. I confess to Almighty God and to my and sisters, 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who loves and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how the Lord your God led you for 40 years in the wilderness to humble you, to test you, and know your inmost heart whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you. He made you feel hunger. He fed you with manna, which neither you nor your fathers had known. To make you understand that man does not live on bread alone, but that man lives on everything that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not then forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery, who guided you through this vast and dreadful wilderness, a land of fiery serpents, scorpions, thirst. Who in this waterless place brought you water from the hardest rock? Who in this wilderness fed you with manna that your fathers 
had not known the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is. of St. Paul to the Corinthians. This is what I received from the Lord and in turn passed on to you, that on the same night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it and broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this as a memorial of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this as a memorial of me. Until the Lord comes, therefore, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the bread of life, says the Lord. All who eat this bread will live forever. Lord be with you and with your 
Jesus said to the Jews, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the world. Then the Jews started arguing with one another. How can this man give his flesh to eat? They said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me and I in him. As I, who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. It is not like the bread of our ancestors ate. They are dead, but anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Lord Jesus Christ, Dear boys and girls who are receiving today the Holy Communion, I would like to congratulate you today because you look like princes and princesses in your shining, beautiful pants and shirts, dresses and crowns. You are happy and all smiles today and your parents, teachers, and relatives are proud of you. They want to keep the sweet memory of this day by taking your pictures. They also want you to remember this day throughout your life by giving you beautiful gifts like small Bibles, beautiful rosaries, shining prayer books and other precious gifts. My question is, why are we all happy today? And why do we celebrate this day as the most important day of your life? You might have heard of Napoleon Bonaparte, the French emperor, who conquered most countries of Europe and wished to conquer the whole world. Somebody asked him the question, what was the most important day in your life? They expected answers like the day of his coronation as emperor, the day of his royal wedding, the day of his famous victories. But he said, the most important and the most memorable day of my life was my first communion day. For each one of you, this day should remain as the happiest and most memorable day of your life. Once Cardinal Newman asked that, what are 4,000 pounds when compared with one Holy Communion. St. Thomas More said that each Holy Communion gives me strength. I would like to ask some questions for our reflection. My first question is, why is today the happiest day of your life? It is because you are receiving the biggest celebrity Jesus, our God and Savior, as the guest of honor 
into your hearts and lives for the first time in holy communion god is coming to stay with you bless you protect you and guide you that is why we have all these celebrations the next question is how does jesus come to our hearts jesus comes to our hearts in the form of consecrated bread and wine do we see jesus in the bread and wine no can we taste jesus or touch jesus or smell jesus in the holy eucharist we receive today no then why do we believe that we are receiving jesus in holy communion it is because jesus said that he would be there in the consecrated bread and wine nothing is impossible for god so jesus is really present in the consecrated host and wine ever since his resurrection on easter day sunday jesus has had a glorified body in holy communion we are receiving that glorified body of jesus that is why we cannot see or touch or taste jesus jesus human body and blood when we receive holy communion why does jesus come to us as bread and wine as food and drink you know the reason we cannot live many days without eating or drinking food and drink are essential for the life of our bodies in the same way spiritual food is essential for the life of our souls and the food for our souls is the body and blood of jesus that is why jesus said that we will be spiritually dead if we don't eat his body and drink his blood hence we must receive jesus in holy communion we have that opportunity every time we participate in a holy mass then we will be in the state of grace for receiving jesus we ask his pardon and forgiveness for our sins and with great reverence and respect a final question what will we do after receiving jesus in holy communion first we will invite jesus into our heart next we will thank jesus with joy for coming to our heart then we will want to tell him all our needs and the needs of our parents relatives teachers friends and all others finally we will be very happy when we remember that we are carrying jesus to our homes and schools as jesus mother mary carried jesus to her cousin elizabeth then we will want to behave well because we know we are carrying god himself in our heart and soul when we are alone we can tell jesus living in our soul about our joys and worries and all others needs we also need to ask jesus to make us good boys and girls sons and daughters who honor and obey our parents as their loving well behaved children and who behave well in school then we need to ask him to help us to succeed in our work at school and at home 
I would like to thank everyone who prepared these boys and girls to receive their first Holy Communion and to remind the parents, grandparents and relatives of these children that it is how all of us in the family and all of us who are in the parish family practice our, family, uh, our faith every day at home with the neighbors and in our work that is going to influence our children. Hence, we all need to continue to train them in Christian faith and its practice, not only by advice, but more by exemplary Christian lives. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Amen. As the children are about to renew the baptismal promises, I request the parents and all the faithful to join the children in the renewal. Dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children, through the Paschal mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk in newness of life. Let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in Holy Catholic Church. And so, dear children, I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Jesus Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. We are all children of our Heavenly Father, gathered together to share the same sacred bread. Let us pray for one another's needs. Our response, Lord, help us to grow in your love. Lord, help us to grow in your love. We pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop, Paolo Martinelli, our priests, religious and catechists, that they may continue to inspire us by their lives as they witness Christ to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to grow in your love. We pray, Lord Jesus, for all of us who are going to receive you for the first time today, that you will help us to make you the Lord of our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to grow in your love. May, may the Holy Eucharist we receive today strengthen us and make us sensitive to the needs of the poor, sick, and the old. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to grow in your love. That Christians everywhere may proclaim Jesus as Lord by their love unity, and humble service to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to grow in your love. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of these young sons and daughters who have gathered here today. Bless them, their parents and catechists, that your glory may shine forth through them. Send your Holy Spirit on them that they may be enlightened in the knowledge of the Catholic faith. 
we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Candles, Jesus, you are the light of the world. May the light guide us to walk in the faith of the church. Flowers, Lord, these flowers are a symbol of a human garden. May each one blossom fully and spread the fragrance of goodness around the world. Fruits. Lord, these fruits represent your goodness and providence for our sustenance. We offer them to you as a sign of our gratitude. Love offering. These love offerings we contribute to the less fortunate ones. We are reminded how fortunate we are and are called to help one another. Bread and wine. Lord, we bring to you this bread and wine as a symbol of our thanksgiving. We bring these to our sacrificial table nourished by the body and blood of Jesus. We may be true witnesses of Jesus Christ. Sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord. 
together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper, with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamp, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing you are faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth Sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an everlasting offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs in Michael, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Paolo Martinelli, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are participating in the Eucharistic banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only save the world, and my soul shall be.
Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I hope in you. Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I thank you for having come to me. Jesus, you said that I could ask you for anything I want. I ask you to help my father, my mother, my brothers and my sisters. Make my home a happy place where everyone loves you and each other. May our world be a happy place to live in peace and harmony. Jesus, help me to grow more like you. Help me to love you more and more and to obey you. Never let me be separated from you. Holy Mary, through you I offer to Jesus. Holy Mary, through you I offer to Jesus. My body, soul, and my whole self. My body, soul, and my whole self. Help me to talk with Jesus and please him as you did. Help me to talk with Jesus and please him as you did. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to me. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to me. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, your Son Jesus gave us the body and blood in the Eucharist as a sign that even now we share your life. Nourished with the Eucharist they have received, may we all come to share in the eternal banquet you have prepared for us in heaven. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. And this, on this great day, as our children have received the body and blood of Christ for the first time in their lives, and they are rejoicing in the presence of the Lord, I would like to appreciate them and congratulate them for the effort they have taken to prepare themselves worthily. At the same time, this is a day to remember in a very grateful way, and my gratitude to all the catechists who committed themselves for the years to prepare patiently and with the diligence to help the children to come up to this level. Also my grateful uh, thanks to the volunteers and the choir, the children choir, that have helped also not only today, all through these days through catechism and uh, important occasions they are there to help us by singing and praising the Lord. Singing once is equal to praising twice, praying twice. And so in a very beautiful way, the choir sings together and help us to also sing. I do appreciate and thank the parents as well for your kind cooperation by bringing your children and helping the catechists to form them in their faith. And of course, the altar service who are there always to help and support us with the volunteers and the communion ministers. I don't know whether I have forgotten anybody to remember. Every one of you I appreciate on this great occasion. Thank you. God bless you. Let us grow in the spirit of the Lord together when we work and when we praise and thank the Lord, we see the effective presence of the Lord amidst us. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia.
is the Lord.